Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm meteorologist Stacey Donaldson. It's a first alert action day. Thought we'd give you the latest on what's happening with the snow throughout Colorado. We've had feet of snow up in the high country, still snow covered roads here in downtown Frisco. Here in downtown Denver, we're seeing partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies with some fog off in the distance here. But here for the front range, we have icy roads and below zero wind chills. So the, normally this time of year, 51 degrees would be our afternoon high. Today, it will only be 13 with a wind chill factor of six below. So today 13 degrees very cold there will be more snow later in the afternoon and evening light amounts of snowfall here for the front range uh, temperatures are going to be very cold here for the front range but look at some of these snowfall totals 20 inches for Loveland Pass 12 for Breckenridge and 23 for Longs Peak here around the Denver area we've had between four and eight inches of snowfall just a little bit less out of DIA 3.7 in the last 24 hours so extremely cold temperatures today we'll have snow in the high country continuing and then metro snow later this afternoon and this evening up to about an inch of snow occurring. So our temperatures at this point are around zero and below. These are the actual temperatures, but you factor in the wind chill and it feels like 15 below for Denver, 21 below for Burlington. It actually feels warmer up in the mountains than it does here across the front range. So a wind chill advisory in effect for this morning. It will be in effect again tomorrow morning. And for storm totals, we're looking at about that one to two foot range for our northern mountains. A little similar here for our Central Mountains as well and 10 to 20 inches farther to the south and that's for the last few days. So we're just working on topping off that extra snowfall here in through the rest of the day for the high country winter storm warnings in effect. As you see that snow still coming in from the west and we will have that move into the Denver area later this afternoon and this evening light amounts. But for the most part, we're just seeing a few flurries here and there at times in places. We actually have the sun showing uh, and coming through the clouds off across the eastern plains. A little bit of light snow here and there, but for the most part, wind chill advisory still in effect through this morning, and we also have light snow out through western Colorado as well. As for our future cast, the next few hours in through the early and to late morning, we'll start to see a little more snow coming this direction. This will be by one o'clock in the afternoon. That's when we start to see that snow encroaching on Denver and the eastern plains once again, and even by midnight tonight, if you flurry still occurring here for the front range. So we'll be watching for that very light snow here for our area in through the rest of the afternoon and evening. Temperature will be in the 20s up at Keystone if you plan on skiing today and it'll snow all day long. Tonight's forecast zero cold and <laughs> lightly snowing of winter uh, wind chill advisory in effect for tonight. Temperatures in the single digits around zero in through this evening. And then for Monday, it looks like we're going to clear this storm completely out of Colorado. We'll still see some snow down to the south, but as we get toward Monday night, it moves out of the state finally. So uh, we're going to see that moisture here in through this evening up to about an inch here for the Denver area. Our highs tomorrow in the low 20s. And on the seven day forecast, we'll have low 20s for Monday and then mid 30s for Tuesday with partly cloudy skies. Notice those overnight lows stay very cold for the next few nights. Temperatures though warming up nicely here Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the low to mid 50s. You can also catch us on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and um, any other digital platform. Apple TV will be giving you updates on the snowfall here. And this has been your on Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us and check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Stacey Donaldson.